So I'm off to Tunnel Barn Farm on the Maver day. Uh, I ain't been. I honestly can't remember the last time I went to Tunnel. It's probably on one of the qualifiers, to be fair. Um, yeah, I honestly can't remember. I'm sure if I look back at my blog, I can find out. But yeah, um, the venue that is very good, without a doubt. Lots of fish in there, so hopefully you should have a nice day's fishing if I get it out right. Um, I'm not 100% sure why I don't go there, it's just, I suppose, just sport of a choice really, and I, I guess a lot of us are creatures of habit, so therefore we just go to the venues we know. So I'm probably going to get my ass whooped, to be honest, taking on the locals. Hopefully I'll get some good information, read some uh, Facebook posts and stuff that come up, and a lot of it just seems to be like maggot and ground bait, so I'm guessing like maggots and slop, I guess. Or something of that nature, uh, meat short, and, I, and I'm guessing maybe pellets might come into it in, in, in some places. I guess just like knowing which what pegs and what pools and stuff. So I believe we're on House Extension New Club. I might have got that completely wrong, so I might have to edit that out, which I won't because I'm not, I honestly don't even know what lakes we're on. Uh, Steve did tell me, but I have obviously uh, forgotten so forgive me um, so I guess it'd just be all like sort of delicate rigs trying to catch F1's odd car uh, looking forward to it so we'll see what happens so so I drew peg 23 on club it was a split section so there was half my section on club and half a section on you um, cut straight to the point uh, I had 103 pound come second in the section 110 pound won it on peg 27 club he's caught a few shallow and then he's caught down his edge the wind was blowing to the right but I don't want to use that as an excuse because there wasn't like loads of wind but the ripple would have helped the anglers catch you know shallow even though when we talked about it he said actually when the ripple got up it actually got weaker so but yeah, I had a nice day's fishing, I had a few issues, like uh, I, I caught down my edge mainly to my left in the real shallow water, and because there's a road to, to the left, I've had a lot of bank style disturbance, and you see fish like kiting off the peg, bow waving out, which has been an absolute nightmare. So, you know, but what can you do? At the end of the day, it's a road, so people are going to walk up and down, and kids and stuff, and buggies, and cars, and walk cars, so a tiny bit frustrated, don't like making excuses, so that's the end of that. Um, so my match started short on pellets, because obviously there's some stock fish in that, and then I was going to convert that to a, a mag line quite quickly really. So first chuck, two, two and a half pound F1, happy days, they caught a couple of stock ears, but to be honest with you that soon sort of died, so that was the end of that, and then loose fed maggots. And to be honest with you, that never really come alive. I mean, it was like bright sunshine. Obviously, it's quite cold in the mornings and stuff. So, you know, it was all, I, I felt it was going to fish a lot tougher than what a lot of us anticipated. Because obviously, tunnels are like ground full of fish. Um, and then I caught a few on the overshotted rig against the far bank. So, basically, longed it. Um, they, they weren't, weren't really weren't worth catching. I mean, the, some of the fish down the edge were like two, maybe even three pound F1, so great big ones. And the fish you're catching, like on the mong and on the maggots, short, they were really small, like anything from one ounce to like six ounce. So, you know, I didn't, didn't really feel like I was really going anywhere. So, therefore, you know, the edge I felt was definitely best. Um, little tiny, like delicate rigs and also a longer line just to keep that pole tip away from them. Fishing the short line would have been obviously ideal to hit more bites, but the trouble is you don't get the bites if that makes sense because it really was literally flat car and there's no ripple, which was a shame. I think if I'd have had some ripple and less noise down the, down the road, I feel like I'd have had a mega day, but I didn't have the ripple and that road's always going to be there. So, you know, you think the fish are getting used to it, you really would, but... Yeah, so basically just pulled maggots and, and uh, slopped down the edge. Uh, just kinder potted it was best to just, you know, kinder pot on 
it for one fish. I mean, I did lose feed maggots at like 